Hey there, this is Abe from Pet Paint, and we are going to do a lesson on flames. Now, um, I actually have three colors here. I've got yellow, orange, and red, which are you know the typical colors in a flame. So, what we're going to do is start with our flame stencil from our uh, our hot rod dog stencil kit, and this is a small one on a small dog, so it's perfect. So, what we're going to do first is practice nice crisp, nice crisp lines because that's the foundation of what we're trying to do. Then we'll add some color, and then we'll add some highlights to the top of that. So we're going to go good, better, best. Got it? Here we go. Got it. Monkey, say hi. Paw. Maybe. Woohoo, monkey. All right. Right, monkey. So we have a freshly shaved dog. Sit. 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 Good boy. We have a freshly shaved dog. Uh, shaved dog, we're going to pick a nice spot. Right on the side, looks perfect. We're gonna start with yellow because you wanna spray your lightest colors first and then your darker colors on top. Because it's easy to spray a dark color over a light color, but it's hard to spray a light color over a dark color. So our base of our flame is gonna be yellow. Here we go. Shake your can. Nice, easy lines. And if you've got a wiggly dog, just get somebody to help you. Here we go. There we go, look at that. That's a nice, sharp, the nice, sharp, small flame. Now, to add a little, little, little highlight to it, sit down. A lot of times what we'll do is not remove the stencil, so leave it on. But in this case, I just want to show you what it looked like. So now we put the stencil back over the same color, and let's do some, let's do some orange. But we want to leave yellow in the front, and then go to orange, and then we'll go to red in the back. So, this is one where it takes a little bit of control, and on small stencils, it might take a little bit of work. So, shake your can, get your color out, work from the bottom up. There we go. Maybe a little bit more, because we're going to add some. Uh, we'll just do this one as a two color. Remove the stencil, there we go, look at that. So now you've got a nice blend. You've got a nice blend of yellow. A nice blend of yellow into orange. So, on a bigger, flame we can actually do three colors now this is gonna be cool check it out um, I'm gonna get the large the large flame stencil so in our hot rod dog you got the small and then you've got the large so we'll use a fresh side of monkey here Come here buddy sometimes treats helps um, so we'll go to the other side now this is gonna take up as you can see that our stencils are reversible, so depending on the side of the dog, if you want the tail of the flame in the back, then you would use one side, and if you want the tail of the flame in the front, then you can use the, the other side. So I always think that the, the tail of the flame looks better to the back of the dog, so that's what we're gonna do. Again, light color first. Find the right position too, um, so that we match the contours of the dog and everything looks good. And, and nice when we're done with it. And if you're doing it by yourself, keep everything handy. So here we go. Stay. Good boy. Let's find that. Looks like a good spot right there. So I'm using as many fingers as I can here. Stay away. Alright, got a nice good sugar can. And this is where this is where a helper really comes in handy. So there, we've got the light. We're leaving the stencil where it is. Let's go with orange. Fade that to the back. And now the red. We want the really hot red tips on the end. There we go. And voila. There you go. There's your flame. Bye, monkey.